All over this world, all over this world, people are alike but not the same. All over this world. Good morning and welcome to the Smith School's news program. I am Taylor. And I am Tony. Today is Friday, January 24th, 2020. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention to the Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Good morning, Smith School. Let's get ready for our day with our belly breath exercise. Let's begin by sitting or standing with a tall, straight spine. Close your eyes and place your hands gently on your lower belly. Imagine you have a balloon in your lower belly. Slowly inflate your balloon by breathing through your nose. Feel your belly expand as your balloon fills with air. Now slowly deflate your balloon by exhaling the stale balloon air through your nose. As you exhale, say in your head, I choose to think positively. Let's do it again. Slowly inflate your balloon by taking a deep breath through your nose. Now deflate your balloon by exhaling through your nose, saying, I choose to think positively. One more deep breath, slowly through your nose. Now exhale through your nose, saying, I choose to think positively. Have a great day. We are pleased to join you for this special week here at Smith School. That's right, Tony. This week we are celebrating Cultural Heritage Week. Students are learning about different cu cultures and traditions from many countries around the world. Our cultural experience began on Tuesday as students were treated to a cultural art exhibit displayed in the hallways. Each class created a project in art class inspired by a specific country. Take a look. Projects were amazing. Great job by all our talented students here at Smith School. Yes, and thank you, Ms. Harris, for your hard work in planning and guiding the students to create such artistic and culturally diverse piece of art. Our Cultural Hurt Heritage Week continued on Wednesday with an assembly by Journeys with the Sound called Music of the Earth. They provided a multicultural journey with the exotic instruments from all around the globe. Let's see for ourselves. What the ancient people call a lower world journey. And there's a whole beautiful, amazing world beneath the earth. The native people call the earth Mother Earth because 
because she gives us water and food and everything we need to survive. And everything you see here on the stage comes from Mother Earth. What's that? Wind, right? Exactly. So, this is the Aztec wind whistle from the ancient Aztecs of Mexico. Peace. Called chimes. These are actually made in France. For the teachers, these are called Koshi chimes and they're used in sound healing. And this, and this is called an African thumb piano because you play it with your thumbs. So, I'm going to show you the bagpipes that are played in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. They're from Scotland and Ireland. Here we go. That was a multicultural musical delight. I agree, Tony. I really enjoyed it. And plenty of students enjoyed Folk Dance Day on Thursday by learning how to folk dance in PE class with Mr. Goodell. They danced the song Highway Number no. 1. In this song, the singer tells about its, the places he visited in Australia along the Highway 1. Let's check it out. I Thank you, Mr. Goodell, for teaching students about the fun and cultural tradition of folk dance. The students enjoyed the dance and learned about Australia's land and current fire season. Cultural Heritage Week also gave many students the opportunity to learn about some of their peers' family heritage and cultural traditions. Several parents came in to share with their child's class. Let's find out more. That is the spirit of cultural awareness week is to think is to learn and celebrate our differences but also our similarities israel is a teeny 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 tiny middle country that's right next to egypt and right next to jordan and it's in the middle egypt. east all the way on the other side of the world and in israel there's also different money this is the Israeli shekel. What does this look just like? In Israel, they also have falafel. They have special foods, the Israeli flag. Each country, as you know, have different flags. We read Hebrew, which is the language from Israel and the language of the Jewish people from left to right. So as we learned this morning, shalom has three meanings. It means hello, goodbye, and peace. To show you guys um, some cool things from India and objects. Um, so when this is what cool. a lot of Indian women wear. It's called a kurta. Do you see this print over here? Yeah. India is known for block printing. So what they do is they take a stamp and they stamp it that has this block print. And they make these stamps by hand. They dye this fabric by hand. And this is the pants that you would wear. Oh God. These are called pajamas. Actually, the word pajama comes from the Sanskrit word. Um, and then you usually wear a long scarf called a chunni. Can you guys say that? So you can wear a chunni like this, right? You can wear it like this. this these are bangles. This is Indian jewelry. You can you wear them to dress up. 
So it's basically women wear bangles every day and some men wear one silver bangle every day. Bali, to finish her outfits, so you're wearing a kurta, you're wearing the pajamas, you're wearing a chunni, right? You're wearing your bangles, then you wear a bindi. A bindi, it goes right Basically, now. you wear it because back in the day it showed that you were married. So instead of wearing a wedding ring, you would wear a bindi. Only married women wore a bindi, but now it's just for fun. So everyone can wear a bindi. So this is rangoli. This is what you put to decorate your house. And in India, oh, yeah, they, you show them. they do it by hand. In a lot of Indian households, and I actually think a lot of Buddhist households and different religions, right? Religion is part of a culture. Um, they light incense. And basically, what incense does, it kind of it kind of cleanses your house. And you keep it on a holder, it's floral, it's got a jasmine smell. And this smell is very oh, I famous know these. in India. I know these. Yeah, oh, really I have famous in India. India. So these are lentils. Let's talk about Indian food. This is one of the more common things you eat in India, lentils. And they look just like this, yellow lentils. These are them raw. You cook it with water and some salt and turmeric, and it's so yummy. So it's a village called Mistat, you heard of it, it's a village. So where we're actually from, it used to be a big castle. And the really cool part is you could walk on all the housetops from all the roofs. You could go on everybody's rooftop. What a wonderful way to learn about each other's heritage. Throughout the week, students also participated in different cultural lessons in their classroom through stories, songs, educational videos, maps, crafts, craft activities, and more. That's right, and today many students and staff are either wearing cultural attire or the colors of the flag of the countries. That represents their own heritage. What a great way to end our cultural heritage week. That is our show for the week. Thank you for watching the Smith School News Program. And as I would say, remember to make the right choices, and the choice is always your own. Have, Have a great, great weekend. weekend! We speak different words. We sing different songs. We have different religions. And races. But we share so many hopes and dreams, though we come from different places. All over this world. All over this world, people are alike but not the same. All over this world.